Welcome class. Today I want to discuss the major opportunities in the marketplace right now. If you are looking to become a financial influencer, let's call it just summarizing this whole entire space, whether it's financial coaching, consulting, strategizing, advising, um, personal financial you know, advice on investing, you name it, all the different categories that surround finance. I want to put it under financial influencer, right? And those who are looking to coach people in this space. Never before has it been, we'll call it easy. It has never been more easier than now. Simple barrier to entry, little experience required to enter the space of becoming a financial influencer, a content creator, right? A social media influencer around finances. There's good and bad to this, right? Bad being that anyone can really say whatever they whatever they want and be totally wrong and build a massive following and people make bad financial decisions, right? Good side of things is anyone can do this. Anyone can build a career, anyone that has a knack for finance or you're inspired by your own personal financial journey or you're motivated motivated by someone else's journey and you're like, man, I, I think this is an area that I'm gifted in. I believe that I can teach people. I've had my own success. I've been able to help my mom, my parents, my sister, brother, right? Whomever you've been able to help has given you the motivation or the inspiration to say, you know what? I think I can go out there in the marketplace, create some content, videos, podcasts, blog, posts, you name it, put myself out there and acquire clients. That process has just gotten way easier in the last two years, right? The barrier to entry, right? And I wanna go over some critical areas that I think are market disruptors, um, huge gaps of opportunities in terms of like no competition whatsoever. We're talking like blue ocean strategy. Nobody's there, right? And because nobody is there, the only alternative is these other gurus in other spaces that are just taking over your potential clients right now as a financial coach or aspiring financial coach or consultant, right? You're, you're being stripped of all your potential customers because of what these other content creators have been able to do. And I just want to go over, look, how you can essentially follow in their successful footsteps in terms of grabbing their the attention of a mass amount of people, creating massive amount of content, providing education, being entertaining, being educational, inspirational, motivational taking those skills, those trends, those strategies that these other gurus are doing, bring it to the area that you're in that really no one is doing right now, right? And I have the numbers to back it up and really penetrate the marketplace for yourself where you win because you're making good income, you're making an impact, right? You're helping people make better financial decisions and the customer wins because now they have more options, right? The issue is right now, for those of you who are struggling financial coaches, you're a new financial coach, you're trying to hit six figures, you're trying to gain clients, you're trying to market, okay? Nobody knows who you are and they're gonna continue not to know who you are if you refuse to get in front of the camera, right? And start recording and start sharing your mission, start sharing your story, start sharing exactly who you serve down to that niche audience, right? And my goodness, what can happen in a very short period of time compared to the other marketing strategies that you've been doing? The missing variable in most people's businesses today is content. That is the single most biggest, strongest, most advantageous variable that most of you are missing is content. Let's direct our attention to the board and let's really break this down in terms of the numbers, the opportunities, like the industry itself, what's changing. Let's have some fun. At the end of this video, if you want to get a hold of me, we can jump on a coaching call, a strategy session together and figure out ways that I can serve you and then we can serve the entire community. There's no competition. You're living in a time where a lot of business owners are buying into the whole idea of collaboration over competition, right? Very advantageous for those who are brand new, right? 
and access to different information today, right? Access to big gurus, big name people are becoming more accessible than ever before. And I can prove that. So let's take a look at the board. On the left hand side here, I listed out the most popular financial roles an individual can play as a content creator, right? So starting at the top, we got financial coaching. Arguably, one of the most beneficial positions a content creator could be in, you've got the most freedom, in my opinion, as a financial coach in terms of what you can say, right? You really can just speak freely, speak your mind, uh, not be tied down to one philosophy or one concept, not be tied down to really any, any topic. As a financial coach, you're positioning yourself as someone that is problem solving, looking at the numbers, identifying the traumas, the behaviors, the habits of that particular individual that you're working with. And there's the least amount of liability, I would say, where you can just speak from your own personal experience. And therefore, this is how you operate your finances. This is why you don't use debt or this is why you do use debt. This is why you use life insurance. This is why you use crypto to invest or real estate. So you've got all the freedom in the world to just really speak your mind. You don't have to be held to a higher standard as if you were licensed, right? As a financial planner, let's say a, a financial advisor, right? You've got to submit any type of marketing, video, interviews, any type of material you do has to get submitted through a system, through a process, and that is a major delay when you're trying to create content, right? So as we get further down the list, you'll see some of the pros and cons of the different roles that you can play or you're thinking about. Again, this video is most advantageous for those who want to be on the side of serving, right? Not just to be served, but you also want to serve. You've learned a philosophy, you've learned a concept, you've learned a financial strategy, you've mastered it, you've gotten results, you've created financial independence, financial freedom, and now you want to be a contributor. Now you wanna be a philanthropist. Now you want to coach others do the same, have crazy amounts of results and experience the same freedoms that you get to experience. And then by using your own story in terms of, you know, I came from nothing or I grew up without, you know, parents or, you know, parents divorced when I was six, you know, you then tie that story into what you do. It's going to, it's going to strike chords in the audience that you're looking to serve that relate to your story, your pains, your traumas, your obstacles. And the customer today is looking more for that rather than experience and titles right? And accolades and trophies, right? The customer today is looking at you, figuring out how authentic is this person? How relatable can this person be to my situation, right? The customer today is asking, how can this person work with me? Are they going to pay attention to me? Are they interested in making money over serving my needs, my wants, my desires, right? The customer is not looking up to see if you are a certified financial coach, if you've got 10 years or more experience. No, no, no. Corporations, institutions, right? Nonprofits, organizations are looking up those different things to hire you as a speaker or to bring you in to teach their employees, their staff. Totally different. So I don't want to disregard those accolades and trophies and titles and speaking engagements. You, you still need all of that. But in terms of accessing the customer today, they are on social media. They are watching all kinds of content and you can be the next person that they start binge watching very quickly, especially if they just click with you, the way you look, the way you dress, the way you talk, how fast or slow or moderate you talk or, you know, your, your background, oh, they're Spanish, I'm Spanish, or they're black, I'm black, or they're white, I'm white, whatever it is. Like people are looking at who can they relate to, who can they build a real relationship with, and can that person really help me, right? And then through your content, you then show how knowledgeable you are on the topic that they researched, how to pay off debt, how to build credit, how to build business credit, how to invest in crypto. You start focusing your specialty, right? You're a coach or consultant, right? That's general, but then you specialize in working with single moms or you specialize in working with single dads 
where you specialize with working with young folks between 20 and 25 years old, or 20 to 30 years old, or millennials, or Gen Z, or baby boomers, because you're may maybe you're a baby boomer, right? So you get to really, really niche it down. And I'm telling you that the opportunity is there. It's crazy, guys. It's it's insane. And I'm looking for people to run with me, right? In this space, I'm looking to collaborate. I'm looking to grow. I'm looking to leverage my platform. I've been able to build something pretty powerful in the last four years that it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than my clients. And so I'm looking to just bring on more people that want to serve and give you a place, right? Give you an opportunity where either we can serve together uh, collaborate together and just have dominion dominate the marketplace it's amazing stuff here so fi that's financial coaching financial consultant very similar to a coach we don't necessarily deal with the mindset portion of a client or you're not really too deep on dealing with the financial traumas or addressing financial traumas with the client right and again i'm 26 years old guys so this is my understanding and definition i could be totally wrong about these different roles. What I have seen in the marketplace is a combination, right, of different roles, right? I'm, I'm seeing like a combination of all these things and, it, and it's customized and that is a major opportunity, which is the customized approach, which is gonna be the second area that we cover here. So financial consultant, you're like really just looking at the numbers, providing a strategy, providing a plan, and then it's up to them to go and take off unless they, have continued uh, sessions with you that's where maybe coaching might play into it where a person's like hey man you know i make good money but i just can't seem to keep it well giving them a financial strategy isn't going to solve that problem you kind of have to have deeper conversations so if you're someone that doesn't feel comfortable having deeper conversations you might be like me in the beginning where you just provide the numbers 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 if you if you look at my youtube channel very rarely am i talking about your trauma when you were six, when you were 10 years old, mom did this, dad did that with money. And so therefore you now do this, or you have a spending habit because nobody taught you. Like that's not how I initially address my services when I work with people. I'm showing people the numbers and I allow the numbers to do the talking to motivate them now the ball's in their court. So I'm not over here giving them a motivational speech as to why it's so important for them to stop spending more than they make. Some people take that approach as a financial coach. God bless you. Doesn't work for me. I receive the numbers of the individual because it's not that hard to get. All I need is bank statements, right? Paycheck stubs. Those don't lie. Your bank statements do not lie. I can look at the last 30 days, last 90 days up to a year, and I can see where every single one of your dollars went. And I can prove to you, hey, you're spending in these areas. Da, 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 da. If you focus on one, two, three, four, five, six, boom, 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 you're going to recover $500 a month in cash flow. There isn't no debate after that, right? They're not, oh, that's not, that can't be done. Or, oh, uh, I don't see that. I'm like, it's your bank statements. There's, there's no lying here. So puts the ball back in their court, right? After that consultation, after that one hour session, they get to decide, do they want to work with Denzel further? Man, he just showed me how to go from, from A to Z, from in debt to debt free, from in debt to debt free, debt leverage, to investing, to 10xing my income. He just laid it all out, gave me the timeline and everything. That might be the the step that they need to take and, and what they see. So as a financial consultant, that's where I dwell best. And then it's also intertwined with a financial strategist. So I, for, my, for myself, these are the two areas that I started with. And then over time, I started breaching into financial coaching, right? Because what I began to notice down the line, once I had a client for over a year or two years, or yeah, say six, six to nine months, they started opening up more. Denzel, I love your mission, helping single moms. I was raised by a single mom. And da, 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 da. And so now I'm gathering more data about this person. And now I feel more comfortable. They feel more comfortable. We can start addressing different traumas. Hey, did you do this when you were little? Did this happen? Did your mom do this when you were this age? Right? How has that molded you? When you spend money on this, how does it make you feel? Like now we get to have deeper conversations because the, the numbers have been laid out. So now they just got to follow it. Then when you add mindset on top of that personal development, hey, read this book. Hey, you should check this person out. Hey, we should go to this event together. Right? Now you're just packing on the, the layering of that 
foundation and making it even more secure. So it doesn't hurt to intertwine, right? And, and add different things along the way as a financial influencer, okay? These three right here, financial planner, advisor, fiduciary, these things have licenses involved. You're actually selling an end product. So you're charging for your time in certain scenarios as a fiduciary, just charging for your time. As a finance, financial advisor or planner, maybe you have got some type of a back end product, right? That the person buys into and then you get a commission or residual, right? Stream of income from that specific product, right? Now, in these areas right here, these guys can't really create as much content, right? Can't really create as much content. And on top of that, most people aren't ready to talk to these kinds of people because they don't have the capital discipline finances to be investing, they simply need a strategy to fix their mindset, improve their mindset, improve their personal finances, pay off debt, right? That's not really the job of a financial advisor to show you how to pay off debt. Although we're seeing, or I've been noticing a shift where financial advisors are like, man, I, I want to be able to serve the smaller guy, but I can't because these products are limited. You got to be accredited or you have to have X amount of dollars. So what have they done? They built another practice in conjunction with their main providing consulting, strategizing or coaching, right? So these elements right here can be a great addition if you're old school, right? You're not in the marketplace. You're not creating content. What an opportunity. You might say, you know what? I'm going to, I may drop my licenses so that I can create content faster Then maybe have some type of deal or some type of referral or affiliate agreement with an active wealth manager or licensed individual. And there can be some referral distributions there or some type of, you know, a mutual beneficial relationship where now you're serving clients before they get to the advisor and then you're providing clients a pathway of a trusted credible advisor that you trust because you were an advisor right and you worked with advisors so really really cool unique things there those are the three areas that require licenses and then there's financial content creator right i think the biggest winners today are these people right here, the financial content creator, because they can incorporate a lot of these different things, right, into their strategy. But a financial content creator today has so many different streams of income, right, that they can do things that a, a coach that's just coaching may not be able to provide their client, right? A financial content creator, I'll just use me as an example, by me becoming a financial content creator, I've been able to create multiple streams of income in different areas that have nothing to do with my core audience that I'm serving core clients. It was just through the power of content creation, collaboration, affiliate referral agreements, partnerships that produce residual stream of income, right? Passive income streams that now feed the passion that I have, which is to serve moms who are unable or are not in a position to afford high level or high ticket financial coaching programs, right? Or one hour sessions. They, they just don't know how to make sense of spending $300, $400 for a coaching session. And instead of me having to try and sell them and, and all this back and forth and whatnot, and these different sales and marketing tactics that work and don't work, you know, depending on how good you are, I've been able to just make a bunch of money over here, right? Has nothing to do with them. And then I've been able to build a ministry, right? I have a finance geek ministry now. So I have a ministry that literally targets that group, right? Serves that group. And then my, my tagline is no money is required, but work is required. So if you've got the faith, you've got the work ethic, you will be served. And here's how, dun, 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 dun. And so now I'm able to provide things for free. I'm able to provide education. I'm able to just lower the barrier to entry to get access to financial literacy, financial education, and as far as one-to-one -one financial coaching, my actual time doing it for free, but still remaining profitable over here. So that's my personal experience as a financial content creator slash financial coach slash strategist slash consultant slash insurance agent slash sales marketing slash 
Shopify store slash, I mean, how many slashes you want, right? It just over and over and over again, all these different income streams feeding the passion. This way I don't go broke following my passion, following my purpose. I don't have to go broke in the process. I don't have to tie money into the reason I do a thing. And that's where the major opportunity is today. So this, this is something to really, really consider going all in on if you're struggling as a financial coach. Hey, you might be a coach 15 years in the business or a strategist or fiduciary. You're making multiple six figures, seven figures. You're good. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the, I'm talking to majority of financial coaches, consultants, strategists that are struggling. You've got a talent. You've got a skill. You're experienced. You've worked in the banking industry. You worked in credit. You worked in the IRS or you've worked around finance. You've been an accountant or you've been a, a CFO at a corporation and you left that to help everyday average Americans improve their finances. And you know, you left you left a six-figure career and you went down in income, right? Or you bought a high ticket certification coaching program 10 15 grand whatever it was you're not making any money i'm talking to you i'm talking to the ones that are in and out of these different facebook groups and you're trying to you're trying you're trying you're trying you're trying you're trying, you're trying to do all these different tactics you're learning the sales scripts you're learning the marketing tactics you're learning follow-up right and call and close and da 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 and I'm like, look, if all you did was create content, document your experience, be authentic, have a system, a clean system on the back end of that authenticity and content creation, it's a perfect match. It's a perfect match. And the more eyeballs see your stuff, you, you increase the conversion just by having more people looking at your stuff. All right. So those are the biggest winners today in the financial influencer space in my opinion is a content creator you have the flexibility you can make money through sponsorships you can make money many different ways so the major opportunities that we have is you can do a customized approach that is what the customer is looking for today customized catered one-to-one -one approach <clears throat> or community or group or mastermind type of approach this leads to market disruption okay you can disrupt the marketplace create your own blue ocean and have no competition. And on top of that, living in a time where you can collaborate never before, right? You go back two, four years or so, you reach out to someone that has a hundred thousand subs, a million subs, and you would hear crickets, right? Well, nowadays, I mean, this is from personal experience. It might be different, varies for others, but I'm willing to bet in the right situations in the right environments in the right ecosystems when you reach out genuinely searching for collaboration mutual beneficial opportunities or relationships these people respond i mean i've reached out to people with more followers than me more subscribers i show them what i'm doing provide that full honest open transparency and i've actually had people respond and then vice versa i've had people with much lower subscribers much lower um, followings or no following whatsoever. People reach out wanting to do some work together, create a mutual beneficial relationship, collaboration, partnership, a, a profitable experience. And I'm entertaining the conversation. I'm reaching back out. I'm saying, hello, I'm here. I'm open. I'm willing to hear what you got to say, right? It's because I, I personally just believe that a lot of businesses have bought into the philosophy of collaboration over competition. I think people are realizing that there's so much money in the marketplace today. There's so much opportunity in the marketplace today that very few people are even going after it. So it's just like, there's a huge gap, right? So, and then the other opportunity is really around sales and marketing, where you're able to amp up your sales and marketing by creating content, by getting into the marketplace. And, and I can't wait to share these numbers on the left here. I'm going to make sense of this in a few minutes. It's just, it blew me away. I think it'll blow you away. Before we get into that, I want to talk about the strategy in terms of what these successful financial influencers are doing, following in their footsteps, just looking at what works, doing your own market research. And here's what I have found. And here has here is what I have done that has led to a seven figure revenue right over the last four years, been able to generate over seven figures approaching second million, right? So I've already made over a million and in just four years approaching five years, I'm now approaching my second million. 
that's crazy for a 26 year old Puerto Rican kid grew up with single mom and never making more than 30 grand a year for the majority of my life and the people around me not making more than 30 40 50 60 K a year that's insane that's insane that is no small task right and the other thing that I love is that you it's huge to me it might be small as someone else but it's huge to me huge huge nearly make two million dollars 26 years old almost at two million total rev since 2018 that's a major accomplishment in my books in, in my head right and what i love is you, you don't have to compare to what other people are doing you simply get to view you simply now get to think bigger i was listening to a podcast it was ryan pineda grant cardone they were talking back and forth and somewhere in the conversation, uh, Grant asked Pineda, he was like, how much are you making per day? You know, Stripe just hits your account, you know, through your funnels, through your systems. And he said 50K to a to 100 a day. And I that just like, I was just like, oh my goodness, 50 grand to 100K a day. This guy is making extreme impact. Guys, that's over $18 million a year. You just do 50K times 365. It's over 18 million a year. I've only done two. I've only done under two in four years. Can you imagine if I just kept doing what I'm doing and get around people like them to learn the different strategies? And guess what? You you don't even have to pay to, to, to learn what they're doing. They're putting it out there. They're giving books away, guys. They're giving workshops away. They're, they're just creating the content and they're showing you the entire blueprint and i'm just looking at it like oh all right mm, yep mm, that's one strategy mm, i'm gonna do that yeah mm-hmm 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 gets me excited so here, here are the strategies that they do that i've seen it's one-to-one -one initially when you first start out especially in the in the finance space it's one-to-one -one, right you're creating content you're marketing you then convert you sell one person then you talk to that person one-to-one -one, and then you're providing them with other products and services down the line to increase the long-term value of that client. So one-to-one, -one, that's still working, trading dollars per hour, right? Then there's group. I like group. It's now you're forming a community from all those one-to-one -one clients. You then bring them all together in a group setting and you have a mastermind or you have an in-person event or a virtual workshop or a hybrid, right? More people than ever before are more open to the virtual workshop. So it costs less to do it on your end instead of hosting an in-person mastermind that might cost you thousands. Then you got the courses. Courses are not subject to your time, so it's evergreen, right? And now you're buying more of your time back through courses, books, affiliates, and sponsors, right? All of this is not subject to you actually putting in the work. It's just you doing the work one time, setting up an automation system to handle it, monetize it, and then you can keep rinsing and repeating the number keeps growing these are the different strategies that i've seen in this space particularly because i'm talking to those who are looking to build a career in the finance space here is some of the major opportunities in the 21st century to do that right now let's go on to this side this probably my most favorite part right here this is my own market research via google via forbes via different um, credible news outlets like Amplify and Creator Economy and what was the other one? Uh, ExplodingTopics.com, right? All these different sites that you can check out for yourself. So I, I put all the different stats together to give me a range of what I'm working with. Right, there, this might be off, but it, this is giving you a, a really good analysis of what the marketplace looks like today. There are. 50 million, according to Forbes, according to another article I saw, there's 200 million content creators globally, worldwide, anywhere from as low as 50 to 200 million. Forbes said it was 50 million. I'm going to go with that higher number, 200 million. I think that's probably more real realistic. But then of that 200 million, there's probably so many that are inactive, not making any money, et cetera, et cetera. So <clears throat> I try to narrow the search even more to try and get real real accurate stuff here of that 50 to 200 million another site on on google when i did my research it said there's 139 million content creators this is every type of content creator not just the finance space this is every single type of content creator right only fans i mean everything in here everything there's 139 million content creators 
with 1,000 to 10,000 followers, right? So do 200 minus 139, they're all under 1,000 followers, right? Bunch of people that are not being seen, right? That might be you, okay? Then of that 139 million that have anywhere from one to 10,000 followers, there's only 2 million, 1% off 200 million, 4% off 50 million. Only one to 4% of content creators globally have 100 to 1 million followers. I am not in that category, right? I am in between the 139 and the 2 mil, right? I'm at 46,000 subscribers as I record this, making six figures, multiple six figures each and every year. So followers has nothing to do with income. That's a totally different conversation, but this is just showing you what work has been done by content creators based off the following. So 2 million, 100K to 1 million followers. Then I try to do even more now research. I say, okay, of the amount of content creators globally, right? Which ones are financial influencers, right? And financial influencers is the general word that I've seen the articles and Google try to batch all of these careers into, right? Anyone that talks, anyone that remotely talks about finance was thrown in these numbers below, right? So looking at just YouTube and Instagram, they did a study on roughly 4.2 million people, right? A little over 4.2 million people was the study. And of that 4.2 plus million, 68,977 are financial influencers, meaning when you go on their profile, that's their main thing, right? And on YouTube, it's 37,907. Guys, you add up, like if you did, you added these numbers up, times it by one to 4%, there is only worldwide, there's only 1,068 to as high as 4,275 financial influencers with 100,000 to 1 million or more followers. That's it. That is it. So I looked at that. From there, all I have to do is market research the specific service that I'm going to provide. So I want to talk to financial coaches and consultants because this is an area that I've personally have been mastering, practicing, and have a lot of experience in working with over a thousand plus people and helping thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, arguably, arguably, right? And I've been able to create a little program, a little community around it. So that's who I'm going to talk to for a minute here and say, of these numbers, of the thousand to 4,000 financial influencers that are, that have serious followings, all you have to do now is market research who is a financial coach or a financial consultant or financial strategist, go down the list, that has 100,000 to 1 million followers. And then just observe them, see what they're doing, right? See what they're doing. And then you recreate the content that you want to create, but by using some of the strategies that they use. You pay attention to the titles on their channel. You pay attention to the thumbnails. You pay attention to how they put the descriptions, right? The links, the ads, the intro, the outros, the, the different marketing tactics. Just observe, observe, observe. Not for too long. Don't get in procrastination. We only need to observe maybe three to five influencers and you can create your strategy completely for free. Just following what they're doing. And then if you're real smart, as you're selecting the people that you're like, you know what, this person is an exact example of who I want to be, right? Of how I want to serve people and how I want to present myself on the internet. Okay, you know what the next smartest thing to do is? Get in their ecosystem. Start liking their content, subscribe, follow, share, comment, join their newsletter, subscribe to any free workshops, any free content, any free ebook or whatever that they're offering, get all of it. And now you're, you're viewing them as a customer, but also as a creator where you're going to literally do what they do. Right. And then as you do that, trust me, when I tell you, even these creators with hundred thousand, 500,000 million followers or more, they pay attention to who is actually for them, who is actually a super fan, 
they pay attention and they honor those people. So then what you what you do, right? When you start creating content, building out your strategy, what's the next best thing that you can do? Give. How? Give glory. When you create content, you can then point to that person that you've been watching and saying, this person helped me, mm, 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 dot, 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 right? Tag them in the video, even if they never see it. Tag them, comment them, give them glory, give them grace, give them, you know, boost them up, give them their flowers. Okay, you consistently do that as you're creating content, creating your market. Guess who you start to attract? Their followers. Not every one of their followers is their clients. So now those followers see you in the suggested videos and then what? They hit you up and they're like, oh, you're, you know, not as expensive as that guru or you're more affordable or you relate to me more. All this different stuff. Guys, there's your strategy right there. Before you know it, you got clients in the door. Before you know it, you might land yourself a collaboration. You know why? Because nobody else is doing it. Literally, like nobody. So what I do is I will give glory to someone that I I like, right? I'll tag them in my stuff. I'll let them know I'm going to their event and I'll just keep doing it. Even if I never get noticed, it's not a big deal. I just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. One day before you know it, when I'm 31 years old, I get invited to speak on their platform, right? Collaborate with them, and but they get to see when that actually goes down, they now do their research. Their team lets them know, hey, Denzel's gonna be speaking. They do a little research and they're like, boom, boom, boom boom this guy has been promoting my work for the last five six seven years holy crap this guy's a super fan he's serious he knows my work now they're like i need to check this guy out da, 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 da. and then that's when you have your personal explosion based on someone else's success that's another major opportunity in going all in and creating content is by someone else's success you could jump in no time in no time i've personally witnessed this personally seen this for myself where I had a, ni a nice little jump, right? So this is all fantastic uh, uh, strategies, information I want to, you know, share with you. If you have any more questions, you want to work with me one-to-one, -one, send me a message, right? Email me directly, right? I've got the links in the description below. You want to book a coaching call? You want to hop on a strategy session? We can discuss this. You want to find out more about my financial coaching program, you know, how to become a financial coach without the fancy certifications and titles and trophies? Reach out to me. I'm 26 years old. I got a lot to learn, but I got more to give. I'm your personal finance geek of the 21st century. Have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll be talking soon.